<laughs> Reviews, the biggest news, the what's new, and the who's who. Welcome to the Daily Gamer Podcast with Joe Mango and James. Welcome to the Daily Gamer Podcast number 21. Wait, we're legal in Woo. America. Oh, yeah, that's true. And and in Dubai, in the UAE. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> James, you're so old. You I'm only so old, you I forgot. forgot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and today we have our special guest, BB. Whoa, what's up, guys? Welcome I'm actually back. very happy that I hit uh, adulthood with you guys. Yeah, <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> no, it's been going well. We had you on for like podcast number like six or something. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was just like, we got to get him back. It's one of our favorite podcasts. Oh. We learned a lot from you. And uh, yeah, no, it's, it's really... You're an OG. You're an OG. Definitely. And then obviously like me, Joe Mango. I forgot to introduce myself. Joe Mango and... and James. And James is the here best as well. Guys, the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you've forgotten me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, no we, so we're, we're here as well, not as uh, important, um, you know, as BB. Um, we usually like to start things off with a little bit of a topic. And I've been uh, kind of, you know, seeing and hearing a lot of bad things um, about Redfall. So today, I thought we'll talk about games that were super hype and then just flopped on release. Oh, yeah. Some of them got nice better, no. definitely. Should have over been a better long period. Been over yeah. a long period of time, but I heard some really interesting stuff about Redfall recently, and um, you know, you kind of thought, "Wow, this is going to be a great game," and it just really wasn't. Mm. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> what What are your thoughts, BB? Like, do you have? Do you have? Did you, did you see a lot about the game before it came out? So generally, this is a general statement: developers stop overhyping your games. It does you nothing other than really raise yeah. expectations for the players and the mm. gamers, and that doesn't go well any you just be realistic be honest transparent to all the gamers out there yeah. and trust me like the community usually supports in fact if you come out there and tell people hey i've done this game i have not uh, done so and so and i'm still trying to you know meet my deadlines come out there and you know i'm doing this for you guys i'm 100 percent sure that sounds much more reliable and realistic and people would start trusting you as a company more yeah, yeah. so yeah Talking about Redfall, I think <laughs> the game clearly didn't meet any of the expectations. Uh, it was there, there. There's just so many things to talk about, and uh, yeah, I mean, um, usually, I I just think that they should have really just got an extension or uh, like I think just so, release yeah. it later. And, and yeah, even though if it was just you know some more time or at least mm-hmm. um, someone to give them a little bit more guidance, because that's what I heard is creatively the guidance wasn't all there even though the idea was there but the guy so didn't. yeah like top dog is microsoft yeah. for, for this company then it's bethesda and it's arcane studios which is part of bethesda yeah. so you would think they've got bethesda which is just renowned for making amazing games yeah. you've yeah. got microsoft who are a massive powerhouse in gaming now <laughs> uh kind of you know more recently coming third place in the race of uh, consoles console race, right? um but you know you thought Wow, you know, they've got so much behind them, they should be able to make this Different work. Different teams, though. That's what I want to say. So a lot of the big publishers out there have this, um, or a, a lot of the people think that because just you have a big publisher as a name or as a, let's say, a, like a, as a support or a sponsor, that means that the game would meet the quality of its previous games or yeah. previous publishers. But I mean, Arcane in general, uh, they made Dishonored. Mm-hmm. which is an amazing game. Uh, they made Prey. They also made Deathloop. Yeah. So let me clarify again. I don't think it's the same developers that made those games because I'm sure at some point in time they will need those developers to keep maintaining the other games. So I'm yeah. sure there's a new team behind it. Maybe some uh, similarities between the developers, but I mean, it's usually the same game. And I feel like it's the company's responsibility to ensure that the quality of the developers is consistent the across, yes, across the, the whole yeah. So okay. here's what I heard, because I've done a little bit of research, ah. okay? <laughs> um, Arcane, known for these games, but they're all single-player games, right, for the mm-hmm. most part. Um, now, the new one is, you know, crazy big RPG kind of thing, right? Um, so that, first of all, they were making a game that they are not necessarily used to. Mm. It was co-op okay. multiplayer for a start, which was gonna, which is new to them. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Instead of just like a single-player storyline-driven game, which they've been very good at. So that itself is is completely different. And I think a lot of people did go, well, oh, oh they're going to bring out a new game. It must be a single-player game. And it wasn't. Um, I also heard they had a lot of internal struggles in general. Um, 
And apparently, from when they started to when they finished, 70% of the staff had changed around yeah. from the oh, developing that, team. That explains a lot. Again, it yeah. goes with my point. If, yeah. if like, I started developing something and then someone has to continue yeah. without, especially like um, 70% means something really went wrong in yeah. there. That means the handovers weren't as smooth, weren't as yeah. accurate. Seventy so, percent, and I think those seventy percent, like, you know, maybe some of them got fired, but I heard a lot of them actually just left. Yeah, yeah. They were not happy with how it was working out and what they started, and also when they obviously post job listings for you know studios, um, they aren't necessarily allowed to talk about what the game is just yet. Mm, true. So they'll hire people, and those people won't necessarily know what they're going to be working on. Mm. So what they were saying was, people were going, "Oh, Arcane Studios, okay." We're going to be working on a really cool single-player game. True, true, and then true. they joined with all this single-player game uh, developing experience. And they went, guys, we're not making a single-player game. Yeah. And they've gone, oh. So That's true. It, it just seems like there was a lot of issues. And Microsoft, you know, people were going, well, why didn't Microsoft step in and go, you know, we're the big wigs. Guys, you need to make this better. Uh, we need to give you more resource. You know, Ubisoft create a game. A thousand people work on that AAA game. Yeah. Apparently they had an average of about 100 people working on this game in total. Okay. Um, so that's, that's again, like a, a 10% of the workforce for a normal AAA yeah. game, which is already... Is, is it just another factor which just is like, you know, going to go wrong? Um, and apparently Microsoft were like, no, no, we trust these guys. We wanted to give them complete, you know, reign and they could do whatever they want with it because they, they know what they're doing. They make great games. They can do it. Mm. So people are kind of now criticizing Microsoft for going, well, that's why true. didn't you step in? That's true. Yeah, you and too much freedom, but then not enough guidance, as I was saying, like creatively. Yeah. Um, and also, I'll, 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 st I'll say this because I gave it a go. I downloaded it and I, I have Game Pass, mm. right? So I may as well <laughs> test it out. Yeah, yeah. And, and you can immediately tell that the quality isn't quite there. Mm. Mm. And like even just looking at the graphics and the way like everything moved a little bit and then the characters and then... It just didn't seem right. It rush, seemed like a yeah. rush game or yeah. a demo yeah. or a beta. I'm, yeah. I'm assuming they didn't have time to polish since yeah. they were like barely meeting deadlines. Yeah. They just wanted to release it. Yeah. But then, don't you think it would have been better if they just cancelled the project? That doesn't really See, work. See, that's what I heard, that Arcane was hoping they would cancel. Yes, that's what I heard too. <laughs> so what Arcane uh, staff actually said was, they wanted Microsoft to, <laughs> yeah. to step in and go, we're going to cancel the project or, <laughs> yeah. or say, guys, we're not going to cancel the project, but we're going to give it another year or two mm. and we're going to make it a single player game. That's what <laughs> the, the actual devs from Arcane wanted to happen. Yeah. But Microsoft like, no, you got to put it out. <laughs> that's uh, quite that's, interesting. Yeah, but, but the thing tough. was, is, is obviously right now, you know, Nintendo, PlayStation and Xbox, you know, it's all about who can do the best console exclusives, True. right? That's what they're fighting for. They're fighting to who can get the best. And Microsoft is spending the most money, but doing the worst at it. So Which far. is not a good thing, because if your exclusives are not as good as the others, then exactly. that kind of cancels out what you're trying to do in the first place. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And then obviously, uh, you know, I was a little bit worried when I first heard about Red Fox, like... It's coming out around the same time as Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> it's One of your favorite then, games. Yeah, and then I was really happy that Redfall was bad. So now <laughs> I'm like, now I can just play Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> without feeling guilty. So. Exactly, without having without <laughs> like you know having FOMO or something like that. Although Diablo 4 just came out, so I'm kind of, Ooh, oh, yeah, I'm now excited. I'm torn, you know. I'm excited. But it was the, the excitement that, that led me to, I mean, I was excited about Redfall because it looked mm. cool. And I loved like uh, Left 4 Dead. Um, what's the other one? Back for Blood. Back for Blood, right. Yeah. Oh, Those type co-op co -op shooters, mm. um, co-op horde shooters were so much fun. And I was hoping for another one. It's like a new one. It mm. looks really cool. And then um, obviously... It didn't, didn't and it's cool. like vampires, right? Yeah. yeah. Vampires Which is cool. Because cool. yeah. uh, you don't, you see like a lot of zombie games or possessed games. Especially now. And there's mm. quite a good chunk of them coming up very soon, which I'm really excited about. Yeah. Uh, we've heard about this... Uh, kind of like a survival zombie game. I forgot the name, but it's really realistic. And mm. uh, I think it was called... Uh, I forgot. I don't know, yeah. But it's, it's really realistic and it's coming out. I, I think I've years. seen about... Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember what it's called either. There's, there's a lot of games. There's literally yeah. just one video about it. But yeah, that video, yeah, I yeah. feel like, was hyped enough. To a point was it people, one of those ones that was in Unreal Engine 5? Uh, I think showcase so. That. I think yeah. so, yeah. Which, by um, the way, big shout out to Epic for really growing that engine in the past oh, uh, 
We've Is hailed it five it, years. We've hailed it a lot on the podcast. Deathly, actually, Deathly Stillness. Is that it? Uh, Deathly Stillness. No. I just yeah. Could be. Could be that one. So I did hear one thing just briefly off topic about Unreal Engine 5 um, that a lot of people are putting out these Unreal Engine 5 demos and saying, oh, this is our new game we're developing, but they're actually not g- actually games that anyone's developing. One person spent six months making this one two-minute video mm-hmm. and then uh, and everyone's going, whoa, I see this new game that's coming out <laughs> by this indie gaming developer and there's actually one guy who's gone like, well, I made a two-minute video, but that's about as far as I can get, <laughs> um, which is interesting, but it, I mean, it does show some amazing stuff of the Definitely. future of gaming. Huge, um, huge I've just got to upgrade my PC now. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, just going back to, you know, hype games that kind of flopped a little bit. Um, you know, Redfall, unfortunately, it didn't Red, work out. But there are other games that oh. the same thing has happened to, and I think we're all thinking of the same one. Definitely. That's like, I feel, the biggest flop of history, is it? I feel. Which one? Go on, you say Cyberpunk. 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 Yeah, yeah, Cyberpunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Had a rough start. It, it, but, it I, but it is the biggest game that really flopped. Because yeah. like, I believe... Even the non-gamers knew about that game, of yeah. how much it was advertised. Yeah, like, exactly. oh, I'm literally wearing a Cyberpunk <laughs> shirt. Yeah. When you came in, I was like, oh, I like your shirt. <laughs> I have, I actually that. have a necklace of that. <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I won like a little pack uh, for when Cyberpunk was getting released. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So I, I got from this Instashop. a year yeah. before Cyberpunk came out. Oh, nice. It was a gift. It was like a goodie bag from uh, Gamescon. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, so I, I, like, I was really excited about the game. I was really, really excited about the game. <laughs> And yeah. then I downloaded it, played it. Did you download it on on Steam? Steam a PC on PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so uh, I was gonna get it on PC, but then I yeah, I, uh, w- there was like an Instagram ad that came up, and it was like Insta Shop, and it was like an Insta Shop ad saying like, "Oh, win Cyberpunk 2077 and this oh, bundle okay. and stuff," cool. and you basically had to comment down below uh, to try and win, right? Cool. So I said something like, because obviously Keanu Reeves is part of it. I was like, you wouldn't want to get Keanu Reeves uh, shopping late or something like that, you know, or John Wick, <laughs> you know, something like that. It was a bit wor- a better worded than that. I can't remember exactly what I said. Anyway, and I won, and they sent it to me, and I was super excited, but <laughs> I only had PS4, so the first one was a bit oh, like, mm. you got an Xbox game. No, no, no. Yeah. I, they gave me the P- PS4 okay. version. They asked me which version right. I wanted, so I said PS4. Oh, the but, worst but, version. <laughs> but I was, on, I was on PS4, which, yeah, was kind of like, that's the worst one to play on. Yeah. But I was like, oh, I'm hopeful, like, whatever, it'll be fine. Um, and then also, I got the Dubai version of the game. Oh, the, ha- the halal censored. version. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the censored one. So I'm like, that's funny. I'm like saying to James, I'm like, oh yeah, what, what do you think about the character creation? Da, 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 yeah, and like we're both chatting about it. And then uh, he sends me a photo of uh, of his character, which was a female character, <laughs> completely nude. Yeah, that, that was there on the game. Yes. And that was what he was creating. And I was like, what? And then he said that, you know, he went to, uh, that there's some scenes in there that are a bit raunchy. Mm-hmm. Yep. All mine did was when you got into those scenes, it went black and then it came back up and you finished. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that was it. It was over That's in a blink. Pretty much what happens in the movies here as well. Yeah, like yeah. Going for the yeah. kiss and then. All yeah, the exactly. So I was a bit like. Uh, Sounds like my dating life. To me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I thought, you know what? I'm not going to play the game too much more. I'm just going to wait and get it on PC. But then, like, Elden Ring came out and all this, so I just, I never got really back into it. I occasionally play it on my PlayStation 4, and even back on my PlayStation 4, even if I play it now, it is a lot smoother. Mm. So It, it, yeah. did, it did improve. Uh, like, I mean, eventually, after, it was too late, though, but uh, the developers kind of started listening to the community yeah. and eventually kind of put things yeah. back up. But it was already too late. They already lost a lot of the people yeah. who were really excited about the game. I feel like if they had done it right... I think cyberpunk would have had a whole different uh, annotation to it nowadays. Oh, well, yeah, saying that, they then released the Netflix show, and they had more players playing it than ever. Of course, because that yeah, kind of helped, like boosted a little bit. And I gotta be honest, have you watched Blade? I haven't watched. Blade, what was it, it called? Blade Runners. Edge, Edge, Edge Runner. Runner. Edge Runner. Edge Runner. And it's actually it's one of really my good. favorite animated TV shows I've ever mm. watched, ever. I actually was so sad when I watched that final episode because I'm like, uh-huh. I can't watch anymore. And I don't watch that much animated stuff mm-hmm. compared to some people mm-hmm. I know. Um, but I was like, wow, that and was it, incredible so, TV. It's so closely tied to the game as well. Like, It's, yeah. it's the world. There's buildings in the mm. game that they refer to mm. in, in, the, in the anime and it's... Yeah, it's really, really worth cool. checking. I haven't watched it, but I heard good, really Honestly, good things about it. Honestly, yeah. just go binge it 
over the next couple of days and just send me like your face after watching that final episode. I, I think bet, I think I should. I bet you'll I be in tears. You'll be like, this uh-huh. is the best thing I've ever. Because even even like not animated, just any TV show, it's one of my favorite. It got it, yeah, it's yeah. one of the highest rated. Um, it is, it uh, is animated TV shows ever. I'm pretty sure, like yeah. ten out of ten on on everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Cyberpunk had a bad start, but I feel like they've rescued it. Especially with the TV show, they've now got a DLC that's coming out. They, they, what is it? Idris Elba's in it with yeah, Keanu Elba. Reeves. Yeah, yeah. So they're obviously still going strong. They've obviously still got the budget. They're obviously still working on the game. So that's nice to see. I'm pretty sure they've still got a decent amount of players playing. Oh, I still play. I, yeah. I drop in. Every yeah. Now and then because I'm, I'm more for that game. I wanted to be a completionist, so I've done a lot of the side okay. missions. Mm. So the actual main story, I'm still very, very close to the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I've got a lot to do, but every yeah. time I pick it up, it's you know there's another update. So yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, it feels yeah. even better yeah. each time. I'm no, for it. sure. I've seen some people still stream it. In fact, funny story when it got released in the beginning. A lot of people were worried about the whole nude scenes and things mm. going on Twitch, right? Because that's technically to OS. But then I believe Twitch uh, kind of like waved that off. So like if really? it was, if it was uh, like cyberpunk game and the category of cyberpunk, I think they didn't really do much about it. Okay. As long as like you're really not trying to sexualize what's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, it was pretty cool. scary in the beginning. I was like, oh, are, is everyone going to get banned just yeah. playing that game? It's like, hmm. <laughs> No, I mean, um, I think they've done good. E- even when I first started playing it, when it first launched, I was like, yeah, it's a bit glitchy, but I feel like people over-dramatized. True, true, true. It wasn't like yeah, the worst definitely. game ever. <clears throat> it no. was still pretty no. good, and it still had, what was it, like, they sold 10 million in, like, a few days or yeah, something? They, like they made it back. It wasn't that they bad. They made so true. much money from yeah. that game, though. So much money, like billions. Yeah. I mean, they always say bad marketing or bad... Uh, bad reputation isn't really bad. Yeah, reputation. yeah, yeah. All publicity is good yeah. publicity. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's like Donald Trump, isn't it? But I think it was. Just <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. He's an idiot, I mean, but he's getting so much publicity. Can well, I just? Anyway, that is why Joe Rogan just says the most stupid stuff all the time. Yeah, because he knows if he goes, yeah, humans should only be eating raw meat everyone's gonna go oh do you hear what Joe Rogan said but everyone's yeah. talking about Joe Rogan yeah, so exactly. he says stupid stuff on purpose to get people talking trust so. me I, there's like in fact we have a saying in Arabic it's like we Arabs find garbage and make it popular that's, <laughs> that's, that's literally how it is how do you say it in Arabic I like it it's like we find the most stupid ridiculous content and we go like hey this guy must be famous yeah, yeah. Him famous Amazing, yeah. <laughs> that's true. I do get sent some Arabic content sometimes, and even though I can't understand it, it's I'm just... like, that's pretty funny. <laughs> 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 it, it looks pretty like over the top and very yeah, you yeah, know yeah. dramatic, but true, true. it still looks quite funny. It's insane. Yeah. Um, Any other games you can think so of? I know. Uh, it might not be as popular. It was a game, I think it was by, uh, it was on Unreal. I think it was by Epic, I believe. It was okay. called Spellbreak. So it was okay. when Fortnite was really popular, the whole yeah. battle royale scheme going on. And it was basically a battle royale with abilities kind oh, of thing. Yeah. And it was really popular. <coughs> it really hit big when it first started. But then they realized, like, as the players started playing, they realized that the game has a lot of bugs. They started searching for, like, uh, loopholes. And oh, there was a lot of hacking going on. Mm. And that kind of killed the game out. So when it first started, it was really hard to get into a lobby. Yeah. Towards let's say three months in, it was like, the lobbies are never complete. We had like yeah. a lobby of all, like 50 or 40 players only. So I do remember when that game came out because I was watching a lot of Fortnite streams at the <laughs> time and then a lot of the Fortnite streamers looking for extra content, mm. you know, mid-patch when they've kind of exhausted everything they can. They'll, they started playing that and I was like, whoa, this game looks really cool. I never tried it myself but I was watching a lot of streams of it and thought, wow, that looks really cool. And then, yeah, I never thought about it until you said it now but it probably... Like it was a couple of months where I yeah. saw that game everywhere, and then all of a sudden I <coughs> never heard of that game again. <laughs> yeah. it just off they the actually race, yeah. did a, a second version, so they did Spellbreak Two, and they cancelled the first one because they had to like it was kind of like too late to fix the game. Uh, so they yeah. just like let's make a it sequel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now that sequel is not so bad. It's there's like a decent uh, like uh, player base, and mm. it's just going. I just like the creativity of the game because like. You can basically it's like wind, earth, and then you can yeah. mix things like you can do like a thunderstorm and then add fire to it and it will become like a fiery thunderstorm. Uh, yeah. Things like that. It was kind of creative. I wish they just have done it again better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. There was one that 
this might be controversial, but I was a really big fan and still am of uh, Fallout. Ah, uh, Fallout has such a good pedigree. But it, it was 76. That 76 just kind of went, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was kind of like, a, oh, you know, Fallout games. Oh. And then was it Fallout 4 came out after that? Mm. And then kind that, of, that, kind that of saved it. Yeah, that wasn't like... That, that, that wasn't so bad compared to the previous ones. I've, I like the first Fallout. That mm. was like really good. Yeah. And then 78 came out and I was like, eh. Yeah. yeah. New Vegas was, was good. Wasn't yeah. It? But that was a different that was a different devel- set of developers actually, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, really? It had like a different look and stuff, yeah. Yeah, but it was the same franchise. Um, I gotta be honest, Fallout 4 was one of my favorite ones. <laughs> yeah, uh, play, you're, you're play right. It did save yeah. the franchise. It, it kind of yeah. did, you know, because I, I stopped playing. I, I didn't play seventy uh, Fallout seventy six. Like, That's good mm. at all. Yeah, I never touched it. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I, oh really? No, okay, no. I, I gotta be honest. I I am. It's like you guys missed the bullet. But, there, but there's so, <laughs> yeah. thing is, there's so many games that I like to do my research to not waste money and waste time uh, on games that I don't mm-hmm. feel like I'd want to play. Like I I don't have Xbox or Xbox Game Pass, so I was like, ah, I'm not gonna buy Redfall because yeah, I, I know think, it's bad. Yeah, That's I think right. seventy six is on Game Pass, so I might is just it? out of curiosity. It is, it is, just yeah. So I I'm just kind of the missed early it. adapter, like, bye, try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. No, nah, I mean, I, I'm kind of thrifty, I feel like, with gaming. Um, you know, I, I, I'll, even if I have to wait a year and then I'm like, ooh, it's uh, now like only 90% off. I'll play it now, <laughs> kind of thing. Um, I'm <laughs> always like four years later. Yeah. It's like, oh, yes, that's, that's, that's <laughs> no, almost free now. <laughs> unless, unless it's a game that I really want to play. Like Elden Ring, I bought hmm. it like six months before it came out. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 just because okay. I loved the original Modern Warfare 2 I bought that like six months before it came out you know got all the collect whatever um, yeah so what El- did I say Elden Ring right yeah <laughs> and then Legend of Zelda I bought it like on the day that it came out so I oh, never Zelda the new game oh yes Habibi so the good. game is amazing yeah I it's love it you, you can't I I don't think I could say one bad thing about it. <laughs> it's a dream. It's the perfect game at, at this moment legit, in time. Legit, legit. Yeah. Oh, there was another game that came out last year that kind of flopped. Was it Anthem? Anthem was not one? last year. That no. was a few years ago. What was the one that came out last year? That was kind. Of, it kind of looked like um, Destiny, uh, but Destiny. it just did like bad. Destiny. Oh, this is going to annoy me so much now. Ooh. It is you have different cra- character classes and they had different abilities and it was like an open Are you world about Rook Company. Was it third person, first person? I want to say first person. <laughs> first? No. Not Maybe true, third not true person. company, right? Not true company. Oh, it's going to annoy was me. <laughs> that was well. that Do is, you know the developer? No, but it was a PlayStation exclusive. Oh, okay. Uh, uh uh, that's your territory there. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. Games 2022. Here we go. Crossfire? Crossfire X? Well, yeah, was it? No, 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 no. That's that, like, uh, Crossfire X is that uh, super hyped, like, South Korean game, isn't it? Not sure. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah that, one, sure I that one's actually very, uh, a very crazy game. Ah, it's going to annoy me, guys, and I don't think I'm going to remember it. My, so I love my how James is gone. Googling top flopped games. Yeah, <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm not sure. I need to know. I wasn't like, uh, I don't think it was a flop. I don't think it was like a flop, but it was like people were like, ah, oh, that could have been a good game. Marvel's Midnight Suns. But it I'm wasn't. actually seeing a lot of uh, good, <laughs> good games on. But the here's list, the yeah. thing. I think yeah, actually, a, you're right. I like. I mean. Need for Speed Unbound. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a flop. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's there's games that people. Okay, I don't like this. Whoever wrote this, whatever. <laughs> what, are, what are what? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't but agree. That, but that's the thing. There's a lot of games that that people just put out, and then critics just like to go, "Oh, that's bad." And once the first critic says it's bad, everyone else goes, "We should we probably listen, say it's yeah. bad as well." <laughs> yeah. Because otherwise, we might look stupid saying that's one mm. of the best games I've ever played. Um, which Very is yeah, well, let, let me put it this way I think it's mainly about what the company puts as expectations for the gamers because like if you hype your game so much and then like for example GTA 6 Rockstar mm-hmm. has been kind of really overhyping people so if that game doesn't out, come out if that game doesn't come out really good yeah. I mean, I'm sure we're all going to be upset right yeah, so yeah. here's the idea like if, they were, if we're just quiet about it nothing much going on like imagine 
when GTA 5 came out, right? Three years, four years later, no one bad an eye about GTA 6. No one was wondering about it. It's, mm. it's a game that's going to pop up eventually, come on. Yeah. No one really cared. But the first announcement came and then people got really hyped up. And now we've seen a couple of more announcements. And now people are really getting excited. The map is huge. There's mm. a lot of things going on. So now it's like that game kind of meets, the, it has to meet the expectations. Otherwise, yeah, people exactly. would criticize also, it. Also, right? naturally, because it's been such a long gap between the last one. Like 11 years now? Yeah. You would assume... Yeah, almost 11. Yeah, you would assume that it's going to be amazing just because of how long they're spending on it. And they said, it's going to come out between two, 2024 two and years, years, 2025. Yeah. At some <laughs> point, one of those years. <laughs> Which, I, I, you know what? Which I actually I feel is love good. it. Yeah, yeah. Don't put like a... Don't don't ever force a timeline when you don't have to, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Make it as no. <laughs> the only people who need to know the timeline are your sponsors. Let them worry about that. Yeah. yeah we yeah. gamers, we wait. And and the publisher sitting there like, have we got a date yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Sorry, I'm still trying to find that game. I, I've given up now. It's um, fine. it will come back to me yeah, as soon as we stop the podcast. Another really big company known for a lot of loves, and we should not mention the name. <laughs> But one of their games is uh, Rocket Arena. So okay. that was, uh, I'm not sure if you guys know it. No. So it's a Rocket good Arena. I'm going to Google it just it, in case it prompts yeah. my mind. So this game is kind of special to me because I'm literally so confident. I'm probably the only person who plays it in the Middle East. <laughs> I'm literally, pl- I've been playing the game with bots for like the past year. Okay. It's like an animated um, oh, I, I, yeah, kind I of mean, like yeah. shooter with abilities <laughs> as well. And every... Uh, like every player, every character has a different thing. Yeah. So what's funny is they started with a battle pass and then two seasons into battle, they just stopped because mm. they realized no one's actually buying the battle pass. <laughs> okay. Jeez. And at that time, again, I'm a, I'm an early adapter who buys all the games, tries them all out. Yeah. So I got into this game because of one girl and she needed help with the game. <laughs> and obviously we had to step in and I was like already too deep in and I wanted to get maximize all the characters. I was at like level 40 of each character and I was like, I'm not going to stop until they're level 100. And I actually did that for the whole year. <laughs> I would just wow. log in, play <laughs> with <laughs> bots, get the levels. Unnecessary <laughs> achievement. I ended up doing it though. Nice. Right. And, yeah. hey, no judgment there. That's fucking awesome. And yeah, I got all the skins and everything, but <laughs> it's just literally like, it's a, it's, it's a waste. So you've, you've completed it. it, yeah. <laughs> it for my, for my own gain and that's yeah, it. Yeah. I don't think anyone nice. cares. I, don't, I think EA should acknowledge that I'm yeah, playing their yeah. game. <laughs> I think it kind of looks like Overwatch in a way, right? Yes, but the gameplay is so different than Overwatch. Yeah, 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 obviously. But I mean, like, the art style kind of looks like that. Um, What was the Bad Fox Studios game that we did a review on? Bad Fox Studios. Bad Fox Studios. Wait, let me tell you, because it looks like that. I'll show you, uh, BB, and you'll think it. It looks, the art style, and actually the gameplay looks very similar as well. Da, 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 their game. So what happened is, um, while you get name, so eventually EA decided to put all their efforts into Knockout City, which mm. is the volleyball version. Oh, so yeah. that's that's why they moved from this game. Is that the one on roller skates? I, yes, roller skates and like you, it's dodgeball basically. Dodgeball, yeah. yeah. So not volleyball, dodgeball, and uh, yeah, they eventually found that people are liking that game more, and yeah, they just completely shifted all their shifted development all their and their marketing and. You know, all the resources, they just moved it. And yeah. it's kind of sad because this game really had the potential and they just stopped. It's Ooh. Super Squad. Okay, it looks. It, it does look like it. A little oh, bit. yeah. Yeah. So that th- basically... What's the name of that game? Super Squad. Oh, it's called Super Squad. Okay. Yeah, so it's like a, a MOBA. Um, a MOBA? Yeah. With like the map and the top lane, mid lane. Yeah, kind of. it's kind of like that. But not as... You know, and it, it's not as League of Legends okay, or yeah, anything yeah. like that. It's a bit more open, but there are areas. So and like stuff. Smite kind they of. They actually call it a mosh. Okay. So it's not a MOBA exactly. They call it a mosh. Um, but it's an indie developer in the UK called Bad Fox Studios. They've got a team of like 10 people. That's insane. That's um, actually quite creative. It's a free game on Steam. And I tell you what. Squad up. Super Squad. Oh, Super S- Squad. Squad up there. That's a good <laughs> name. That's our game. That's yeah, going to be yeah, our one. Yeah. Sh- sh- Let's get started. <laughs> That's our game now. Okay. Squad we up. We call dibs. Whoever yeah. is listening to I, this. I reckon there are already a lot of games oh, called Squad probably. Up. And it's an extraction. It's an extraction game. Extraction game. Yeah, PvP extraction. Squad Up. Yeah, okay. I like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool game. It's like I'll a... definitely try it It's out. kind of like, uh, would you say asymmetric kind of? Or it's like top down? Okay. I don't know. Um but the the it's actually quite hard because the aiming's quite hard. 
But it but it has like a healer, a tank, a DPS. Okay. And interesting. Another one which is like like a tactician kind of like they lay okay, traps so and like, stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah. this isn't a flop is, though, is it? No, no, no. I just want to talk about it. I just thought <laughs> I, did, I just thought it looked quite similar to the game you were talking about. Fair enough. But, but my uh, game is definitely a flop. Yeah, it's called uh, I even forgot the Rocket Arena. Yeah, yeah. Rocket, Rocket Arena. Arena. Yeah. I'll yeah, check enough. it out actually It looks quite interesting I feel like we could keep talking about More and more flops Yeah um, I mean there's One more flop few. though Oh one more flop Go Okay ahead. James wait, 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 wait. where are you going with this One of the, one of the most famous You're not gonna... ones I think the flop that started all flops I think it was No Man's Sky Oh uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say I just saw that in a list earlier That said like Biggest flops of Yeah <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Wait, that, did you see that on the list? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I had this in my mind before because I cool, remember cool. I was really, really excited about it, <laughs> and I, me- I remember yeah. getting it on PC, that's and I was true, like, that's true. "I still think it. Cyberpunk beats it in terms of the flop fail yeah, level." Yeah, I think so. But, but because I think No Man's Sky was obviously it had that that one guy who went up on stage, and I think it was an Xbox conference or something like that, mm. and he was there explaining the whole because um, that was early uh, generate what's it called. Uh, Early procedural time. generated oh, world so that okay. was quite early in that sort of concept right and it was one of the first ones that said we're going to procedurally generate planets and everyone's like whoa that's so cool and it's like millions mm-hmm. millions of planets and then when the game came out everyone's kind of like when did it come out 2016 or was it before that maybe earlier it's quite old now no I'm not sure but it was I'm doing really a lot of googling today on the show I don't normally do this I mean much. nobody knows no, one's no man's <laughs> sky what does it say? It doesn't say where it is. It say when it's released because it <laughs> probably didn't have a release like, date. We're so embarrassed we don't yeah. even share that. Oh, or, it's, no. or it's not even released yet still. Uh, still in beta. Yeah, 2016. Yeah. August. Yeah, and I remember playing it and it was like, okay, cool. You kind of flew around and then there were some technical ditches and it, it just wasn't very interesting. It was mm. super kind of underwhelming. Um, but now, I actually, I have, I've jumped in every now and then just to check it out. Yeah, but the base building is really. That's nice actually nice of you. Really you keep, cool. he keep, he yeah. keeps saying this. He keeps playing. I, just, uh, I don't, I like know, how, I don't know how he has so much time. He, I wish he spent more no, time no, doing daily ha- gamer <laughs> stuff. <yeah>. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it's because I don't have time. Is I can only drop in for like yeah. ten minutes and see okay. how it is. But that's still nice. Like he, he, he keeps his loyalty to the games. I like yeah. that. Um, I still have a, in my Steam library sitting there for like. Oh. Yeah. Almost one one game that. recently, very recently, that could have been a little bit of a flop was the new Jedi Survivor, right? I, I don't know about it. The first week, there was crashing. On PC. People were was, stuck. Yeah. Uh, the screen would just freeze. Um, and it, they were having so many issues. Mm-hmm. Within like four days, they fixed it all. Honestly, so the credit to the company. That's Respawn, yeah, Respawn yeah, yeah. Entertainment, uh, the developers okay. of that. Lovely. So yeah, that, that okay. You know, if Cyberpunk went, oh, sorry guys, boom, fixed it, but it was too big of a That's game true. to do That's that true. for. Whereas Jedi, Jedi Survivor, yeah. you know, You, you can also crazy. kind of categorize flops as technical <laughs> flops. <laughs> 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 yeah. just the, word, the word flop now flop. is just... <laughs> floppy, making floppy, my flop, mind flop. go, especially yeah. when you go, the different categories of <laughs> flops. <laughs> 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 Uh, maybe I'm going too in depth, but like if you have like technical flops and then you have actual game flops, which have like bad story or like they're badly yeah. written, but like a lot of unfortunately, a lot of the, the anti or the negative hype goes towards technical flops. If technical something's flops, wrong yeah. and you're like, I spent seventy dollars on this, and then it, it crashes, you're like, right, that's it, negative yeah. review, like, yeah, done. And it really brings if you don't want to be disappointed, buy the game after a couple months. <laughs> oh, definitely, of course. Or or Buy a Nintendo game straight away. <laughs> yeah, that was developed by Nintendo, by the way, not just any Nintendo game, because yeah. there are some bad shit on there as well. There's some weird, <laughs> weird yeah. cheap games on they, there. They, they have people that just pump out hundreds of games every week on Nintendo. I heard, yeah. And, and it's hilarious. So I, I have the email notification, and I keep getting like, yeah. you have points, use them for these, uh, yeah. whatever discounts. But the, and, the yeah. games, are they, they basically try and, for the, for the SEO, they try and fit in as many keywords as they can. Interesting. So they'll be like basketball, boom, car, rocket, tank, uh, yeah. racing, uh, hoop. <laughs> I saw one the other day. It was like uh, MOBA uh, FPS game. Yeah. Like they'll put every keyword they can. It was yeah. like I saw one and the picture was great. It was like lawyer, toilet, racing five or something <laughs> like that. No and way. The picture yeah. literally was like men in suits. On toilets, yeah, <laughs> like racing each other. I'm like, what is this? And it's like two dollars. Actually, that's that's kind of creative. You know, like imagine your toilet is a racing car. Like, yeah, oh. yeah. 
I and the say. more you shit, the faster it goes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Now that's so, squad up. So you gotta like <laughs> squad. Gotta, that's the con- That's the base concept for squad up. No, but the re- <laughs> but I, I in my head it's called squad up because you're part of a squad. So maybe it's a relay race. Ooh, yeah, that would be cool. Uh, uh, and you or, take the shit of the first person. Uh, or your squad, <laughs> Pass it on. yeah, <laughs> your squad has got to also throw things in your mouth as you're going to feed the shit. Oh, I, I, just, I think I we can, got something. I can picture it. All in Unreal something. Engine Five, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the details. Oh, <laughs> guys, we really got something going on. We gotta have shiny uh, shit in this game. I think we're gonna have a <laughs> horror game on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna take a turn. Anyway. I like it. On that note, that was the games that were super hyped and flopped. <laughs> Guess who's making the next flop? Woo! <laughs> so, BB, why don't you tell us a little bit more about you? I know you've been on the podcast before, but if you know, if it's your first time listening, BB, who are you? <laughs> so it's been almost six months since the last time. Yeah, yeah. Well, one of our, has happened, one actually, of our yeah, first yeah, podcasts, so. I think. Yeah. So just for the people who haven't heard before, I'm BB. I'm a content creator in the Middle East. I've been doing content for almost eight years now. All Start, gaming uh, related? Yeah. I mean, not, not as much anymore. Uh, I still do gaming. Yeah. Uh, I still love gaming. In fact, there's a really good uh, podcast coming up. So we're doing Ooh. a gaming podcast in yeah. Arabic, and uh, it will be exclusive to a company here called Maiko, which is basically cool. my content. It's really cool, just like what you guys are doing here. Mm. Nice. But uh, obviously, we cannot compete with you guys. You guys are <laughs> uh, <laughs> leading. That's too nice. No, 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 for sure. <laughs> I mean, I would love to say, I would love to come on your podcast, but um, my Arabic is... Um, <clears throat> Shui shui. <laughs> I mean, actually, <laughs> I don't actually know what that was. We, we can use an AI translator. Oh, oh yeah, we could. Ooh, yeah, cool. might that take would be some time. It might sound a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that would be interesting. But nah, yeah, I, that's I really good to hear, though, man. Yeah, like, well I done. think um, you know, you'll you'll love it because we actually we do our podcast, and you know, we're on the fourth floor here. And I swear, we have this thing that every time we finish a podcast, especially when we have an awesome guest on, uh-huh. we get in the lift to go down, and we go. That was awesome. Like we have this like adrenaline where we're just like true, that was true, so much true, fun. True. Yeah, so you're gonna love it. I hope so. Yeah, it's a nice feeling. And I appreciate you guys. Really, I mean, it, uh, a lot of what I'm doing now is inspired by a lot of people who are doing things here. And obviously, you guys had a good inspiration on me in the beginning just to do the podcast because yeah. I believe you were. In fact, you contacted me way before you even started the podcast. If yeah. you remember, right? Yeah, yeah. And you had this idea in mind, and you wanted to do something related to gaming. And yeah, kind of that. Like, kind of did inspire me along with other people as well. But yeah, I'm really excited about this and yeah, I mean it's a complimentary it's a complimentary thing to what I already do. Obviously, if you don't know, I do like a lot of brand deals nowadays. Mm. I do a lot of like uh, skits, funny skits online, yeah. a lot of the short-term content as well, like reels, TikToks, all the good stuff. Yeah. And yeah, I feel like uh, I kind of want to do long-term as well cuz I feel like it's still as good and as powerful. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of shifting towards like, you know, kind of saying the motivational stuff, getting into more serious topics. Mm. So podcast style videos are something I'm really interested in yeah, at yeah. this point in time. Definitely. Um, so you're doing the podcast. So you used to do a lot of um, uh, like game casting. Are you yeah. still doing that as much? Of course, of yeah. course. I'm still MCing. I'm still doing a lot of casting. And is that in Arabic and in English, depending yes. on the event? So, yeah, that's true, exactly. So it depends on what I'm doing, where I'm at, uh, the audience watching. So I can still do English. I can still do Arabic. I can do most of the games. Mm. Not as good as some casters out there. It's like uh, Some people are really professional. But like, you know, I can I can manage my way through. I, I feel like with game casters, right? And and this is not just for gaming. I feel like this is for for a lot of of different industries. Um, you, you have like the person that is like the knowledge, mm-hmm. right? But they're probably a little bit more boring. And yeah, then you have true. the guy who plays the game and enjoys playing the game, but doesn't know every single detail true, of that game. Yeah. That's more fun and vibrant. More casual. Yeah. So you ha- I think it's a, a good to have the balance. Uh, for me, definitely. I would. I'm. You know. I. I play Valorant a lot. I. Mm. I would love to. Uh, you know. I've done a bit of game casting for Valorant, and I'm definitely not the one that knows. You know. When you're like, 
he's in the showers or he's mm-hmm. in the you know the different areas true, in, the, true, in on, on a Valorant map. He's in the showers. What? Well, they, so like they have the, the game, the game inside yeah. the game. Like, <laughs> like so cool. they'll they'll do call outs all yeah, the time. Like, yeah. oh, he's in Suez. He's in. Uh, heaven or oh, he's yeah. in you know what I mean so they call out different places and it's yeah. so funny because like <laughs> I don't play it as regularly now and there's uh-huh. some new maps <laughs> I'm not used to and I'm like running around and my mate's like shouting at me like he's he's in this <laughs> place heaven, 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 yeah, heaven. He, yeah. Oh, where does heaven oh. or like <laughs> palm tree palm tree and I'm like <laughs> where's the palm tree like what and then I die you know so I'm looking this, for the palm tree. so many times yeah it's funny so I'm definitely not that guy who yeah I feel like I would prefer to be the um, hype guy, just yeah. the what's up guys <laughs> you know yeah. <laughs> uh, kind of one but I think it's it's good to have uh, the balance of both do you have a, a, pre- a preference of game that you are mm. like super nerdy on mm, not really I mean Riot games in general mm. are something I'm really good at but oh. uh, no nothing I, I've done Fortnite before I've done uh, most of EA games most of Activision games mm. so no I'm not, I don't have a preference per se I just enjoy uh, casting for specific games more than the others mm. just because I think there's more hype in each game compared True. to others. Like so, some games really take a while until something fun like or League of Legends. Uh, yes, but I mean, League has a lot of complexity. So, uh, I mean, that is a hard game. Even to cast. if you're trying to hype it so much, you still gotta go technical, right? You gotta talk about the skills, the abilities, Mate. the power, the vision, uh, the mechanics, the map awareness. Bro, I've da-da-da-da-da-da. played a decent amount of LOL, but it's ridiculous because there's over 150 characters now or something crazy and it keeps updating wow. regularly and each one of them has f- five abilities and there's different ways to actually build that character and you have to try and like as a game caster when you when you're watching someone play you have to go oh he's going for this build over that build and he's going exactly, for more crit exactly. than this and you have to know why he's doing that oh cuz that one spell works better with crit yeah. so he's going for that spell and exactly. bro it's like yeah. you always compare it to like a a sports commentator because you got a oh, way know the way players. more complex. Trust yeah. me, that's way why, more complex. That, that's why that's <laughs> you got twenty two players on the pitch. You got yeah. it written down on your sheet and their yeah, numbers. That's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but that's why because that's why like esports version of these games really uh, like is growing and yeah. there's a huge price pool because it's really hard to kind of be at the top one percent of this game. Yeah, but generally, uh, like for example, I will tell you this um, funny story. So I was supposed to cast Valorant, right? Mm. And I already know the maps. I'm good at the game. I know the characters. But then there was this weird request where they wanted me. And I mean, it was a fair request. It was just interesting because they told me to like memorize the actual name of the abilities. So like, let's say Brimstone has like the ultimate orb, you know, and you have to, uh, you cannot say he ults. You have to yeah. say, and he mm. rolls his like uh, fireball, right? Grenade thing. Yes. And I yeah. have to actually know the name exactly. And I was like, I've never even thought about this yeah, in my yeah. life. Like I've been playing a Valorant for three years, and I literally had to go to like the wiki yeah. page and like read. So Raze has this, the so do your sticky research. bomb, the boombox, yeah. yeah, homework. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, interesting. And I and I remember I, I go there for the casting, and I and I have the names and I have the list in front of me, right? But I still go like, and he all time there, like, and like, <laughs> yeah, I still yeah. use the slang words, right? And I was like, you know, I think it works just fine. I don't need to know these. People yeah, will understand. Yeah. And I think mm. yes, it's true. And my friend was more of like the analyzing guy, mm, so mm. It, it would be so funny because like it's like, and we have this. Oh, and he did well this game, and then like, and then like, no, 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 no. And, and you can tell, you know, it was yeah. quite funny. Yeah. And sometimes I'd have to like, like, bro, stop analyzing. There's some really good stuff yeah, going on. Like yeah. this guy just aced, and you're like, and like, why do you? Why do you? Yeah. Like, oh, so he got that ace because he uh, <laughs> read the read the play very well. I, I get triggered. <laughs> like, how he are you? Saw that they were calm. going. How are you calm? They were on A, and he thought, hmm, I think they're going to go <laughs> back to B right now. <laughs> a good choice. A good <laughs> deduction. Do you, now, so now I've seen a lot of clips of like Arabic commentators <laughs> in football, right? Uh, when you're doing <laughs> English commentary to Arabic commentary, like, is there a difference in the way you? do it uh, yes for sure because the Arabic commentary sometimes like goal goal yeah. goal 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 <laughs> goal you know kind of thing is that do you do that of course yeah, okay. with yeah. Arabs yeah, like, even when you're shouting I remember like with English you have to go like and he got shut down la, la, la. it's like it's still something well, because like oh yeah. and sometimes you just start shouting <laughs> and there's nothing go- just like, making noises uh, yes, yeah exactly and you just get a high 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 yeah it's, it's I mean I don't quite remember a person who was able to quietly analyze anything in Arabic I, yeah. I think no. all the analyzation happens after the game. Yeah, yeah. Because you just can't. You can't yeah. Yeah. It's the language, you know. The language is, is a, too hype. It's a very fast-paced game, and what you've got ten seconds between each round. Uh, so 
True, yeah. You know, it, it's it's always, you, you very rarely got more than 15 seconds true. of nothing going on, true, really. True. There's always, uh, with Valorant specifically, yes. Yeah. Any, any FPS or like, let's say, bomb style game where you have to like plant bombs and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Those are usually like immediately. League of Legends is like, okay, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, the nothing's first happening. Part, yes. And then, no, but even in the first part, you'll be like, oh, they're just, nothing's happening. Oh, that guy's trying to gank, whoa! Like, it just comes out of nowhere. Or, <laughs> Escalates really Yeah, quickly. and then other times, uh, and then near the end game, it's kind of like, okay, they're just uh, casually, they're just trying to like figure That's out what's true. going on. Figure out. And then all of a sudden, you got a 5v5, yeah, and you're exactly. just like, ah! So yeah, like ah, uh, it is you, good fun. Usually, it, good it fun. initiates by one guy cl- misclicking something yeah, or yeah. attacking before <laughs> yeah. he was supposed to. Yeah, so usually that one I mistake and then yeah. it all just runs and <laughs> yeah. it is it's great. Insane. Oh yeah, I tell you what, that is a massive thing. Like I've been watching a lot of lol uh, esports stuff, and it is pretty intense, especially at the highest level. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if that one guy throws out like a grab spell to like grab someone yeah. towards them and misses it, Ooh. then the other team. Just pounce. Yes, yes. Because like, he's missed that, was that one. That was chance. Uh, yeah. yeah. So he's gonna, vulnerable for that second. You know, they, 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 they know the cooldowns of yeah. every spell. Yeah. So they know, oh, he's he's done that one spell. He's exactly. now on a on an eight-second cooldown. Let's bomb him because he can't do anything exactly. for eight seconds exactly. kind of thing. You know? And we're not stunned and we have the ability. They're technically playing 5v4 now or something. Yeah. Like That's how much details you got to yeah. consider while playing that game. It's pretty insane. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. What? Well, ah, oh, I forgot. Uh, what's that guy who's like, Faker? Faker, yeah. yeah. I saw one where Faker was playing and like he went into his menu screen, mm-hmm. right? To just adjust some settings oh, no. in his menu. And as he did it, through a water... So like you can see... If you're hiding in a bush or whatever, they can't see you, right? But uh, Sorry, they can see you if they're in a bush, mm-hmm. but you can't see them. Mm-hmm. He goes into his menu screen and then all of a sudden a guy throws a, like, a, a grab spell mm-hmm. or something like that th- out of the bush... And he dodged it whilst in the menu screen. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> like, interesting. Like, if you actually oh watch the God. video, I'm sure you can find it on yeah, YouTube probably, or something. Yeah. The reaction speed, like, they calculated it, and it was, like, ridiculous. Like, Insane. inhuman. Wow. Literally inhuman. That, that and he, guy is inhuman. Yeah. <laughs> and, and on the menu screen, you can only see, like, a slither of the outside. And literally, he just came from the outside. He just saw, like, the bush <laughs> slightly move and a thing coming, and he, and he dodged, and he used his spell to to like shoot yeah. backwards or something to dodge it and it was like that's insane what yeah. sharp but when really you see sharp. when you see it like normally you, you kind of like don't quite get what happened oh, of yeah. course yeah um that's the one thing in lol is you're just like especially when it's 5v5 you're like i needed to watch that in slow motion because you're <laughs> sure. just like ha- what's just gone on you've got 10 people all spamming stuff and it's funny because they actually all know what th- what's going on like they know exactly yeah, who yeah. pressed what it, it's insane i mean I remember my parents were watching League once. We were like a, like a cup thing of world championship. Not world championship, I did championship, right? Mm. And then um, my parents were just sitting and my dad's like, why is there a lot of like effects going on? What, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and I was like, no, that's ama- like There's a whole huge fight going on. And it's like, where? I don't see anything. It's just like <laughs> a bunch of dots running around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, to the uninitiated, just like. And then, like, he kept seeing this, and like halfway through, it's just like, man, these kids. I don't know what they're yeah, saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's all pixels, and he just walks out, and yeah, it's yeah. like, ah, <laughs> it would be impossible to explain it to him. No, yeah. definitely. And and I, I quite like um, going from different games and checking out what their esports is like. If I haven't seen much esports fair, in that game, fair point. Yeah. And when like when you first see it, you're like, ah, oh, it's, it's all right. But then once you start learning oh, sure. how it works, you're like, yeah. actually, this is pretty crazy um but it is a lot of fun it encourages a lot of people to actually become better at the game once you see that the potential of things you can do when you're really good at a game yeah i think that automatically just encourages everyone and that includes all the like the big games league fellow fortnite and all yeah that. so like when you see a lot of builds going on you're like i want to do that and then you kind of they put that initiative where like let me kind of learn how to do the builds yeah. or how to do the skill. Yeah, that's what makes gaming so accessible. That's mm-hmm. why it's so successful is because you can just watch someone do it and go, I'm going to do that. That's, yeah, nothing that's holding w- you back. Yeah. It's like no FOMO. Uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Especially <laughs> with Fortnite, with the building, because I got that FOMO and I was like, I'm going to learn how to build. And I spent like a month just like practicing <laughs> building every single day. And I got really good at it. But then I realized what the really good Fortnite players can do is whilst they're building they know what's going on around yeah. them whereas i'm so focused on like build 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 that i don't know where the other player is True. and they and they figure out they'll be like they'll be building 
around you yeah. or on mm. top of you and they are like okay he's there now he's there yeah, and they, 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 they follow you out, uh, whilst building and I'm just like that's what's nuts. gone on and then all of a sudden they're in my box there's traps all around me and I've died and that that's like the next level isn't yeah, yeah. it like you can learn how to build but you know, you've like, got to be aware of that's 10 I other things. With. Like, I can only focus on one thing at a time. I uh, think it's that age, James. <laughs> yeah. But actually, I, think, I, was, yeah. I was telling, we were talking about this before because my generation were more used to about like grindy kind of games, right? MMOs and stuff. So it's, you're just doing one thing at a time. Played a lot of WoW, Most of the yeah. time it's AFK kind of thing, right? Yeah. Most of like Worldcraft, RuneScape and all that. And then this new generation, all the new Fortnite kids, they haven't played much games before. Yeah. They're like this is what they got to. Like this all is the, the button yep. kind of thing. So I think that's why it's easier for them to learn because mm. there's no background knowledge or background uh, learning that mm. happened. It's just like yeah. this is pure fresh. As where for us we have to kinda leave that mentality and jump into the next one. So exactly. it's a little harder. Readjust, yeah. Do you know the uh is an esports professional um I think he's from Pakistan. He's but he's uh, with Galaxy Racer. His name's uh Al Oh, Alvi, uh, something like that. Yeah, he just joined recently, right? <sighs> I think I know. No, he's I think in the Dota. Like, this is a couple. Of, no, he's a Fortnite guy. Oh, okay, I think it's no. Alvi, something like that. Anyway, oh, no, I did not. a video with him like maybe three, four years ago now, uh, like the first year of COVID kind of thing. Um, and uh, yeah, we were like, hey, let's do a video together, kind of thing. Yeah, cool, sounds good. And um, you know, we were like build battling, and he just kept destroying me. <laughs> and then at the end of it, I was like, oh, so how did I do? And he was like, you know what? You older generation, you've got really good accuracy. <laughs> oh, of course, I agree, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, and he yeah, was I like, see that. yeah, and that was one thing he noticed. He was like, yeah, obviously, like your building wasn't great and all this mm. stuff, but your accuracy at shooting is really good. I'm like, a lot so of CS a goal. lot of uh, yeah, and the land, CS yeah. uh, Counter Strike yeah. is my yeah. um, my baby. That CS Go, and then and then also I played a lot of Modern Warfare, yeah. a lot oh, a lot yeah. of true, true, Call true. of Duty. Um, um, so yeah I th it's just funny that he said that it made me laugh and I, I was mean, just it's like, true he's yeah. right he's right and he did say I think most of the older generation just have a, have a just ability to aim you look at Shroud of course he's one of the best aimers in, in the world he's it's, not the best at the games but he has does exactly have the yeah 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 <clears throat> That's his, true. his even Tens who's one of the best mm -hmm. Valorant players literally said in a video a couple of days ago he was like if you watch Shroud when he's playing, it's insane. Yeah. Mm. Like how amazing he is uh, with his aim. It's like yeah. unbelievable. Be better than anyone else. But yeah, he's not as good at the rest of it. Yeah. As it's the, it's actually insane because, again, he has the whole collaboration with Logitech. Yeah. He has the mouse, the shroud mouse, just because of this, because he's so good at the mouse. Yeah. Like they had to create something just for him, you know, yeah. which eventually yeah. became a huge brand uh, in yeah. itself. Yeah, the shroud I, mouse. Even just um, you know collaborations in general with these big content creators, of it's hundreds of millions of dollars of course, of are course. spent. Insane. You know, uh, on these gamer products. Um, I, I looked at something recently. I can't remember the exact stats, but it was mind blowing. I was like, yeah. "Wow, that's crazy!" Even like tens did a mouse as well. Imagine the royalties they get. Yeah, even way after they retire from that specific yeah. thing, like they'll still get it until yeah, people yeah, stop yeah. purchasing the product. I think one of the you know uh, best examples, which most people would know, is Ninja Prime. No, I'm oh. saying Prime, of course, Prime Drink yeah. with KSI and Logan mm. Paul oh, and whatever. Oh. It, even here, they've got Prime here. They're selling it for like thirty five dirhams. More than that, I went Insane. to pa I think a park like and shop. It was like fifty dirhams oh. for a bottle, and I was just like, oh, breaks my heart. I thought, <laughs> I, like in my head, it just feels illegal it is to it's mark like the up halal, a product halal, that much you know? because i'm sure if they're buying it direct from like prime the supplier yeah supplier then they're probably marking it Seven up by dirhams, so dirhams. much yeah, yeah. they're nice. probably marking up so much yeah, yeah, and i yeah, just think that just doesn't huge. yeah i mean they i, know I get the people demand. That, they know there's yeah they know that if they put it on the shelves people are just gonna come man i almost <clears> bought <throat> one just because i wanted to taste it it, actually, and then I'm I was curious. Like, and then I'm I was not just gonna like, buy one. Nah. Like 50 bucks. In the UK, <laughs> one guy was selling it for hundred dollars per bottle. Yeah, and there was a whole like he was doing TikToks on it and stuff. And then uh, Logan and KSI had to actually interfere and tell him to stop because oh, he was wow. just ruining really? the brand's name at some point. Well, like, that that has kind of been the backlash of the brand mm. is people are fighting in shops to get. Prime. It's insane. Like in, in the UK, I've seen a lot yeah. of videos where as soon as the doors open, there's just a mob of a hundred people fighting it's each insane. other to try and get as much Prime as they can because then they're selling it on eBay and selling it exactly. whatever. Yeah. And it became like a collectible thing. Yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, it's 
it is like the power of content creators <laughs> true, you know true, true. which i think more and more brands need to acknowledge acknowledge and for me it's not just about how many followers you have there's a lot of creative content creators that can help brands true. you know create something that's a little bit different yeah. um and you know on a very small budget be able to create something that could go viral or you know stuff like that which is mm. which is basically what you do right like you Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Um, which is great. And Thank but I, I feel like it needs to be um maybe in this region more. Yeah, yeah. Um I mean right now more my, celebrated. Right now my selling point is I mainly charge so cheap compared to anyone with yeah. my following. And I always do what's outside the box. So I'm sure you guys have seen my content. Yeah, yeah. Even when I'm doing something techie, I don't sit and do the normal unbox review kind of thing. Mm. I still find interesting ways to kind of put my information out there and yeah. like brands kind of love this and I never ask for anything that's out of my reach, you know. They they're always happy to help and most of the time brands are happy to work with me, which gives me a whole like high yeah. retention between brands. And yeah, that's amazing. I mean, I like it and I really encourage the content creators to just always not focus on the end goal mm. but focus on the current uh, destination that you're going through right so it's amazing to be making millions of these things going up with the big brands etc yeah. etc mm. but sometimes you are at this stage in time focus on this stage time and really try to put the content that really suits you now yeah. and that will eventually lead you to the end goal yeah. and yeah it might take some time but yeah if you really put the effort will get you through they it's like um i saw this image uh, on LinkedIn, which is where you find all the best kind of like <laughs> deep thoughted images. Um, it was like uh, two guys digging, right? Oh, I know. One this guy, guy yeah. digs, he finds some gold, right? He picks up the gold, he walks away. The mm. other guy goes to the first guy's hole and starts digging, yeah, and, and underneath him is nothing. But if he actually just kept digging, he would have found his own gold. Just a little bit, yeah. and it would have been yeah, more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Which is what I always try and do for us, and what I think you know, you do really well is find your own path of content creation. Don't just go, oh, those people did a video like this. I'm going to just replicate oh, that. I hear that. Because at the end of the day, eventually people are just going to get bored of watching the same thing. True, true, true. Come up with something fresh. I think in the, um, you know, I, I like produce a bit of music, house music stuff, right? And they always say, you know, don't just follow other people's sound. If you create your own sound, like Flume, for example, or Bonobo, uh, some artists that I quite like and James does as well, um, they've created their complete own sound from their bedroom and now they're hugely celebrated and no one's ever kind of done it as good as them either, really. Because yeah. um, it's original. Because it's, it's original. A mix of what other people were doing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Unless you're David Guetta that just pumps <laughs> out, you no, know. But here's the thing. I, I the, this is the thing about trends, like nowadays, and I kind of don't like that. It's like, and you see it a lot, right? You see someone he follows a trend or an OG that's popular on like Instagram or yeah. TikTok, and they might have gotten like let's say ten million views, right? But then you got your ten million views on this video. You're okay. A couple of people liked your video. You got known for a while. But then what's next? Most of them just get that video. They keep talking about it for like a year, mm. and nothing really changes. Their mm. channel's still empty. Yeah, no content, nothing quality in there. So okay, I mean. Trends are there to help you grow. You can always come up with creative stuff. But then what's really after the trend? Okay, so it's not just about making one video popular. I've, mm. have, I've had videos that reached 100K views, but then I worked around. So the idea is when people open your channel, they want to see th stuff that are relevant to them. Like, is this guy really worth me seeing more videos of him? Mm. Or it's just that funny one video and that's it. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like it's not really about the trends. It's about rebuilding the channel where I wa people want to come and yeah. really enjoy what you're trying to do. It's always about the, you know, the quality content. Of course. C content is king, as, as they say. Exactly. Mm. Um, so. Except in the Arabic world, we make garbage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. No, nah, I love it. No, I mean, it's great. And I think, um, you know, in this region, it's definitely starting to become more of a thing that content is Hopefully, king. Yeah. Um, and I think, um, you know, content creators like yourself are starting to become uh, a bit more like uh, celebrated for what you do and, and re so, yeah. re rewarded probably, you know, yeah, yeah. you have these really good brands that Definitely. want the want the good content. They want something new. They want something fresh because yeah. someone said to me earlier, oh, um, you know, uh, the, the reach isn't enough or something mm -hmm. like that. 
And I'm like, okay, well, if they go with someone else that has 100,000 followers, but 90% of them are bought, exactly. and you look at their interaction and they've got 12 likes on a post, <laughs> are they looking at the 12 likes per post or are they looking at the 100,000 followers? Yeah, For exactly. some reason, Sadly, they look the at the 100,000 followers. Yeah. Again, agencies nowadays, and again, this is a part of my business, is they still struggle so much to know this. And specifically with gaming, back mm. to our main topic here, gaming is a little bit different, especially like streaming and stuff. It's really hard to explain those numbers, right? Like, uh, we had this funny conversation at work once where they were comparing my profile to Lionel Messi, right? <laughs> and I have, a, and I have higher engagement than him, believe it or not, right? Because out of his 50 million followers, yeah. only 1.2 million are engaging, right? Yeah. But out of my 20,000, more than 14,000 are engaging, right? So I have almost 70 to 60% engagement. Wow, that's incredible. While he has yeah. 4 to 5%. And that's insane, right? But then companies do, unfortunately, look at the 50 million and that's it. They don't yeah. look at all the other aspects and how engaging. Because yeah. if I have one customer who brings me 90% of my revenue, to me, that one customer is worth all the other 10, mm. right? And I think brands or agencies and brands in general should just kind of start focusing on mm. the returns more than just the numbers yeah. that they see in front of them. And in the gaming world, most of the followers that you have are a lot more loyal than true, you know say true, fashion true, 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 or true. something like that especially if you're like a, a streamer or someone who goes uh, or like let's say puts content for a long mm. periods of time because then you're they're really kind of getting that engagement with you yeah. that like one to one engagement and yeah that creates a, some sort of loyalty yeah. and like you know like a bond or a community an average them. streamer that has 20 average people watching them every stream they are 20 of the most dedicated fans true. that will literally I agree. buy whatever you tell them to buy. Yeah, that is so true. That is so true. Better so, than having 1,000 followers on Instagram where yeah. one person would only buy it. I agree. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I agree. Nice. Anyway, well, we better wrap it up there. <laughs> this is probably going to be one of our longest podcasts ever. I mean, it's always fun to speak to you guys. Like, we can, I'm pretty sure we can still talk for another yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah. Not get bored. Pleasure. Well, what um, we'll do is we'll save that for, uh, true, true, for true. You next know, time. Next time, or yeah. Part three. <laughs> part three with BB. Maybe yeah. I really appreciate you guys and keep doing what you guys are doing. And yeah, everyone listening to this, make sure you go and follow all their 20 other episodes because they're all as awesome as this one. Uh, yes, they are. You. Especially the last one that BB was on, which Ooh. I can't remember. Five or six or something like that. One of them. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, BB. We'll see you next time. Thank Have you. a good one. Yeah. Got some new releases to talk about. Oh, today. yeah. What you got? Oh, what you got? Yeah. Give it to me. So this week, we have Diablo 4. Yes. Ooh, and so far, that's been getting some smashing reviews. Oh, so re excited. Really good. I played and, uh, the beta like a couple months ago. And yeah, I was like, so did oh. I. I'm going to be addicted to this game. Yeah, and I, I pre-ordered this one. I mm. never do that. I rarely yeah. pre-order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was so excited. I was so confident that it's going to be good. And it is. So I'm going to probably smash that this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, I mean, ten, that's like a... So it's asymmetric. You're kind of looking at your character from like an above view. Yeah, almost isometric, yeah. And you basically just run through a lot of enemies and just blah. Yeah, it's a dungeon crawler slash action RPG slash almost imitating the MMO style of games yeah. now because it's kind of adopting the multiplayer online um, yeah. trend. There's like areas where you can jump into like world bosses and fight with other, with other players. With online. other players. Yeah. Yeah. So very excited for that one to play it properly. Yeah. Definitely. I yeah, can't wait to get there and uh, to get there. <laughs> uh, apart from that, Final Fantasy 16. Wait, when's that out? 22nd of this month. Wow, so we've got a couple weeks to wait, but, oh, I mean, that is, that is big. That is a big release. The thing is, I played, I, I put a lot of hours into 15. Yeah. But 16 looks extra special. And you know what they do with Final Fantasy. They go mm. all out, don't they? Can you believe in the space of a month, though, we've got Tears of the Kingdom, Diablo oh, yeah. 4, and Final Fantasy 16. That is your life gone until the end of the year. There's too much choice. And there's more games coming out. Yeah. Over the next six months it's before the end of the year. So. Oh, it's pretty you crazy. Remember back in the day when there was like one game out a year or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and also, I still haven't finished Resident Evil 4 Remake. I've still got a bit to play on that. Yeah, same. Oh, I'm still early days on that. Annoying. Too. No, I mean, I'm, I got like, I think it's 12 or 13 chapters. I'm on like, I think I've got like two more to go. Mm. Um, but let's see. So, yeah. I'm excited for both of those. Final Fantasy 16 and Diablo 4. You can play it right now. Yes. I've got your gaming news right now. So we were just talking about Diablo 4 is yeah. now out. And it has actually become 
um, uh, it set a new record, basically, for Blizzard's fastest-selling game ever. Wow. Which is pretty great. I mean, Blizzard are the developer of the game. Um, they haven't actually specified how many units were sold, but mm. they basically tweeted saying um, that it's the fastest-selling game, yeah. uh, which is really cool. Um, and what I love about it, right, get this th- get this number, right? Okay, I'll get it. Um, 93 million hours of gameplay were played in the first few days Oh my gosh, three 90... days is in what, like two or three days? Yeah, yeah, oh 93 million. Wow. Million, right? That's a, that's a, lot, that's of... a lot of gameplay. But you know, do you know why that was? It's because uh, last week they basically revealed um, oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Uh, <laughs> the first 100 players uh, yeah. to, to reach level 100 will basically get like uh, their name engraved, engraved into, um, into the game. In- into the statue or into the statue, statue of Lilith. Yeah. Yeah. So in the game though. In the game. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty cool. And a guy did it. Uh, the first guy did it in like uh, something like 27 hours or something. What? And that was in hot <laughs> and that was on hardcore mode solo. So he did it by himself in hardcore mode, which is basically hardcore mode. I'm pretty sure if you die, you die for good. Yeah, it's so isn't so he it? didn't die. Um, so that's pretty ridiculous. Um, so well done to them. Well done. Um, also, a little bit of a short review on RoboCop Rogue City, which is a new game that oh, came that out. Oh, that looks cool. I love yeah, RoboCop. People were saying, um, this is this is like a little quote, it uh, recaptures the essence of the original movies, but gameplay seems lacklustre. Mm, mm. Basically, what I have deciphered from all of that <laughs> is they, they said that, that you know, it, it looks, the visuals and the sounds basically successfully capture the essence of the first two RoboCop films, all right? right. Creating a familiar environment. This is what it says. Mm. Um, However, the combat feels lackluster as players effortlessly overpower enemies, removing any sense of challenge or excitement. Oh, that's a shame. So it looks cool, and people like that, but the gameplay is a little bit bad. Okay, maybe over... uh, Maybe... Yeah, maybe Robocop's a little OP. Yeah. Yeah, he, I mean, he is kind of OP anyway. He is in the yeah. movies, yeah. yeah. Overpowered, by the way, if you don't know what OP <laughs> yeah, means. Overpowered. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there you go. I mean, look, you know, don't take my word for it or someone that's written it online. <laughs> uh, go play the game if you want to play it, if you're a fan of Robocop and, you know, make up your own mind. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Anyway, that is your gaming news of the week. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I've got some tech news for you. Oh, yeah. So recently... Apple had their <gasps> big... Yes! What's it called? What do they call it? The, the, the Apple... Vision Pro. Vision Pro. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Okay, so this thing... It is, looks amazing. When I saw this pop up, I was like, wow. So it's an augmented reality headset. Yeah. Right? And it, it it's almost like a set of glasses that you put on. See, that's the thing. When I first saw it, I thought it was a VR headset. It looks like a VR headset, but it's more like ski goggles. But you can actually <laughs> see through it. Yeah, so it's like it's kind of like VR, but instead you're seeing the things like away from you whilst looking through it. Exactly, and people can see your eyes. Yeah, yeah, see and you can like project it. stuff on the walls. Yeah. You can open apps like just apps yeah, from like your yeah. phone, your Apple phone or whatever. Open your apps in there. Yeah, you can go on Zoom and have like your Zoom on the right side and have your notes on the left side or your yeah. presentation in the middle. Exactly. Like it's insane. It's crazy, and the, uh, augmented reality has been around for a while. And you can use it in your phones. You know, it, it's 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 really accessible. Mm. But when you look at it this way, there's so many possibilities. Like I was just thinking about, you know, having a meeting while I'm doing the washing up or something, mm. and I can still like look in in one corner of, of my yeah. vision and then <laughs> talk to someone while doing something else physical with my hands. And this is obviously like dreams of. <laughs> Of people that have had, and 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 they've been keeping this quiet as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And what what and what I've seen for, from what it's uh, um, what it can do is it's more powerful. It's it's a, it's a computer basically. Yeah, it's a computer on your head. And it's like a, a MacBook Pro on yeah, your head. Exactly. Like it's got the M1 chip and it's got another chip in it as well, like dual chips. So it's oh yeah, the R1 and the M2 chip. That's what it said. Yeah. Um, which is crazy. One's like, processing, one's graphics, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. And it's also got a, uh, it says, uh, advanced sp- spatial audio system. Oh, yeah. So, oh, dear. yeah, no matter where you're, st- so if your zoom is on the right, it sounds like d- the audio is coming from that side. Yeah, from that direction. Which is just, ah, oh, I'm, I'm, unbelievable. Like, this just 
popped up out of nowhere. Yeah. And the, it looks so cool. The only downside is, at this moment in time, it is quite expensive. Yeah, but considering this is the only product on the market that can do what this can do. That's true. Three, what is like three and a half thousand dollars? So it's like yeah. ten thousand dirhams. Ten to twelve. Yeah, so it's pricey. It is pricey. I do get it, but considering it's the only one on the market that is doing what this is doing, and they've gone full on, they yeah. haven't just gone. Oh, let's just make a little one. Um, they can justify it because they're up. Yeah, like you know when people were saying, "Oh, we're going to make glasses, and those glasses you'll be able to see things, you mm-hmm. know, uh, on the walls using these glasses." Yeah, it's kind of like that that everyone dreamed will be possible one day, and you see it in all the movies. And now they've done it in a really good way. Obviously, mm. it's a bit more like goggles than glasses. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they'll get, get there eventually, but you've got to put the hardware somewhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't have real slim somewhere. glasses and it work. Yeah. So anyway. My, my, my theory is, right, because of, they've released the Apple Vision Pro, I think they've gone in, they've gone on for the top of the, top oh. of the range. And I think maybe later down the line, they'll release a more affordable one. Just Vision. Just vision, yeah. The Apple or vision, vision light. Yeah, the vision or something light. like that. Yeah, exactly. And that comes on top of the Quest 3 announcement as well mm. from Oculus. And I'm sorry, Quest 3, but I think the Apple trumps you here. Yeah. This is incredible technology. It really is. But safe to say, Oculus Rift 3, uh, sorry, Quest 3, will be a bit more of an <laughs> affordable piece of gear. Yeah. Definitely. Well, go check it out. Vision Pro. We've got a little story up on our website, daily-gamer.net. Yeah, yeah. And that is it for podcast number 21. Oh, yeah. We're legal. We're legal. 21. Yay. We're legal in America, the UAE, and probably just those That's countries. I don't, I don't know <laughs> yeah. what other countries are 21. No. Canada's 19 is in it? some places and 18 in other places. That's weird. Bit weird, bit random. I don't know why they did that. Annoyingly, when I went to Canada, I was just turned 18 and I got there and they were like, oh, no, no, in in, uh, in Ontario, it's 19. And I was like, oh, what? But it's just a year What? One. I know. It was really annoying. And it was December. No, mm. I, I was there at the end of December. My birthday was in January. So I was like almost 19 or something. Yeah bit annoying what can you do sure. uh we digress thank you for hanging out with us on yes. podcast number 21 thank you we very had much for listening our amazing uh our amazing guest bb oh f- yeah for the second guy. time what a great guy to chat to lovely guy he really knows his games he's very knowledgeable about content creation he yeah. gave some amazing advice uh we're definitely getting him back on uh on the on the old podcast soon definitely uh, and obviously we spoke about some cool gaming news a bit about red falls downfall yeah, fall. Yeah, fall, can fall. I just say I was listening to a podcast uh, la- a couple of days ago. Oh yeah, and uh, they were saying uh, Red Falls shortcomings, and I was like, "How could you not say <laughs> Red Falls downfall?" Fall. And I was just like, "That that's ah." Oh. So I had to use it on the our down podcast. red of Fed fall. What? Yeah, that one works too, James. That one works too. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, we will be back with you next time uh, for podcast number twenty-two. Uh, hopefully, with another guest. I've got one lined up, but it's not confirmed, so I don't okay. want to. You know, don't want to jinx anything just right, yet. Right. Um, but yeah, it should be really good fun. And um, yeah, make sure you go check out everything we do on our website daily-gamer.net, and don't forget to follow. The podcast, just press the follow button so every follow. time we do a new podcast, right. it, it tells you. And you can listen to us in the car, you can listen to us on the beach, you can listen to us on your workout in your, during your workout. Or just at work. At work. In general. If you're not working. Yeah, you could be <laughs> sat next to your wife um, or your husband who's annoying you. Just yeah. pop your headphones in. Listen to our lovely voices. Much exactly, better. exactly. Have a fantastic one and we will see you next time. Goodbye. Ciao.